What's up, Ghost Squad? Famox here from Game Your Face, and it's been a long time since I've made a player review, but I'm finally back with the first defensive review of the year as we look at Eric Carlson and Drew Doughty. Here's the rules. I will play both players for 7 games on 100 chemistry lines. They will not be assigned any boosts or captaincy cards. The overall grade is based on 5 stats, puck skills, skating, shooting, physical, and defensive. His current average price is 200k, putting him in the same price range as Keith and Doughty. Puck skills. He gets an 8.5. Carlson has amazing hands for a defenseman, comparable to some of the most talented forwards. I would say he felt very similar to Zach Prize when it came to deking. His stick handling is very quick and he had no problem performing loose puck deeks. That being said, his puck control wasn't very strong, so if you don't time it properly, he will lose control very easily. His passing is about average, so he's reliable enough to make the long breakout pass, but nothing spectacular. Skating. He gets a 9. Carlson's main skating point is his acceleration. His speed is great, but his acceleration is what makes him so dangerous. He can just explode forward to pinch in the offensive zone or get back to stop a player on the breakaway. He's also very agile and had great endurance, so he can play on longer shifts and not lose too much speed. Shooting. He gets a 7. Carlson's wrist shot is good, but his slap shot, not so much. He's not the D-man you put out there if you want to take bombs from the point, as he just can't muster up that much power on the one-timer. However, his slap shot still has good accuracy, and he has a whip over wrister. He's very effective when you're getting close, just not best from the point. Physical. He gets a 6.5. This is the only real downside in Carlson's game, but it's really not that bad. He's not a super weak player like Gaudreau, he's just slightly below average. Carlson will get knocked down a lot, but it'll need to be a decent hit to do so. He won't fall over for a slight bump or a small shove. But while he's alright at resisting hits, he's not so good at delivering them. Usually his hit is just enough to get the puck free, but never enough to send the other player to his ass. Defensive. He gets a 9.5. You don't get two Norris trophies by being a duster on defense, and luckily Carlson's great defensive skills are present in this game. His poke check is always on point and he never seems to get a call on tripping or bad AI penalties. But what you'll notice most is his ability to intercept passes. He's like a wall. Just get him in the right position and nothing will get through. That goes for blocking shots as well. The only reason he doesn't get a 10 is because his interceptions weren't always perfect. In fact, there were many times that he would stop the pass but then the puck would bounce off his stick or he would bobble it for a bit. This goes back to his bad puck control. Total points. In 7 games, he got 1 goal and 4 assists for a total of 5 points. His overall grade comes to 8.1 out of 10 or 81%. Carlson delivered in all the areas I expected him to. In fact, he exceeded my expectations. He's solid all around and just doesn't have many weaknesses. The only thing is his physicality, but if you're not looking for a bone crushing defenseman then it's really no big deal. Carlson's the kind of player that can make a game-saving defensive play and then go on the rush and get the game-winning goal. But before you go and drop 200k, let's look at his opponent, Drew Doughty. His current average price is 200k, putting him in the same price range as Niedermeyer and Carlson. Puck skills. He gets an 8. I don't feel like Doughty's passing and deking are on the same level as Carlson. His passes were just good enough, but it didn't wow me. And even though his deeks were fast, they weren't as consistent. There were many times that he lost the puck trying to make a quick move with a stick. That being said, he does have superior puck control. His ability to keep the puck on his stick while being hit or poke checked was actually amazing. He could battle through multiple opponents and still come out with the biscuit. Skating. He gets a 9. Now for skating, I think these two were pretty much identical. They both felt the same on the ice with outstanding acceleration and great speed. Honestly, if you blanked out their names and numbers, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So there's not much to be said for this category. Shooting. He gets a 7. This is the same as skating, as there really wasn't much to set the two apart. Just like Carlson, Doughty doesn't have the heaviest slapper. I'd say it's mid-range, so he'll get the rare snipe from the point, but most of the time it'll be easy for the goalie to handle. His wrist shot on the other hand was quite the laser, but I found that he seemed to miss the net more often than Carlson, even when in close. Physical. He gets a 7.5. This is where Doughty steps ahead of Carlson. Doughty has great balance and he plays very strong on his skates. He's able to shrug off hits like nothing and power through opposing players. 
I was very surprised at how well he could protect the puck. However, he's no Superman, and if he got lined up right, he would still get crushed. Also, he wasn't very good when it came to making the hits. He was better than Carlson, but the majority of the time, his hits would turn out soft. Defensive. He gets a 9. Drew played solid in the defensive end. His pass interceptions were great, and so were his poke checks. He was also very good at blocking shots, meaning that when you were in a shooting lane, he would automatically go into a block shot and he was able to get up very quick. But the reason his grade is slightly lower than Carlson's is because of his discipline. He was sent to the box four times, two of which were AI control penalties for interference and elbowing. Total points. In seven games, he got one goal and two assists for a total of three points. His overall grade comes to 8.1 out of 10, or 81%. Doughty plays and feels very similar to Carlson, with just slight differences throughout his game. He's much stronger on his skates and has superior puck control, but he wasn't as good with the Deeks and didn't have very good discipline. But at the end of the day, those differences are very small, and I think the majority of players wouldn't even notice. So if you want to break it down, uh, then I think that if you want a D-man that can get the goals with his shot and is strong on the puck, then go with Doughty. If you want the D-man that can join the rush and successfully dangle through the other team, go with Carlson. However, I think this one will just come down to which name you want more on your team or what works best for chemistry. Since Doughty is a two-way defenseman and Carlson is an offensive defenseman, you might want to consider who they're going to play with and how it will affect Kem. But that's just my opinion on the two. Let's see what everyone else thought in the community review for Carlson. You guys gave 8.5, 9, um, 8, 6, and another 8 for an overall grade of 7.9. And for Doughty, you gave 8, 8.5, 7.5, and 8. And another 8.5 for a total overall grade of 8.1. So for Doughty, we pretty much agreed, but you guys ranked Carlson a little lower. The most noticeable being his defensive, where you gave him an 8 and I gave him a, a 9.5. But uh, that concludes this review. Hopefully you found it helpful and worth the wait. Now that I'm settled into my new place, the reviews will start to come out at a regular pace. So uh, if you're one of my patrons, don't forget to vote on who I'm going to review next. And if you're new here and you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button to join the Gorf Squad where I provide in-depth reviews so you can make informed decisions. I'm Famox, and I'll see you in the next one.